Hi and welcome to another 5 minute session and this time it will be still about the vertex colors but how you can easily use it to create dirt in your material for the object. So here I have Suzanne subdivided, free tile and smooth up. So now I will add some vertex color on her so I just go into the vertex paint and then I change this into solid, which I've done already here. And see, so I use white, and I can just to be certain go into paint and set vertex colors, and then we know this is white. And if I go to object data properties, you can see in the color attributes that we have some, something called attribute here because it then created this automatically when you reach vertex paint. We can double click on it and then right dirt here so we have it in so uh, to create dirt we already have that in here so you go to paint and then you can just select dirty vertex colors and you get vertex colors that are dirty here you have some parameters here that you can change however if you change these it can be so that it just paints more and more dirt on your object each time so in that case you change whatever you want then you go to paint set vertex color to white again and then you do dirty vertex colors and it will then remember the changes you do here so you get it in but things that you can change is the blur strength so how, how smooth it should be between the dark and the so, uh, bright spots here and how many times it should do the iteration to get it uh, more granular and when it should be like white and when it should be black but in normal circumstances this work works fine as it is and you can decide if it should be just dirt now it's just you know it's just uh, dirt and also some ambient occlusion in this so we have like a combination and if it should be normalized, meaning it goes from 0 to 1 or not. So those you can change if you want to, but I am satisfied with what I have here. So now I will use that in my material. So I just go back to object mode here. And then I can go in, press Shift A and input. And as we learned in the last session, we can then use the color attribute here. And in the list, I now have dirt since i named this to dirt so if i just take the color into the base color and change this to rendered view you can now see that we have dirt on our monkey i can also move the light a little bit so we can see it more clearly like that take down the strength a bit just so we have something like that okay so this is what we have but if you want some more colors you perhaps some noise in it then you can do a little bit more than this you can add a mix color for instance so press shift a go to color and i select the mix color and then i can just use the color in the color attribute into the factor here and i can put the result to the base color and in the top since the, the dirt is the darker thing it will be the top here then i can add some uh, color for my dirt so something like this some brownish and then i get it in and if i want it to be uh, not so soft more random then i just add a noise into this as well so i can press shift a and then i can select texture uh, noise texture and add a multiplication here to decrease this value a bit so shift a and then i go to converter math put in a multiply that i take the factor and okay, take this really small so 0 0.04 or something and then i just add that into the color here so shift uh, shift d to copy and then uh, add or subtract i can use subtract and i can take it in here and if i then increase this a bit with detail roughness and so on and perhaps also increase the part here then you can see now that we get some random including the base for the dirt 
so it looks more natural or real, so to say. So that is how you can combine stuff. So now I know a little bit how you use Vertex Color to create dirt. It was really easy. And I will continue with even more Vertex Colors, but that will take tomorrow. So, yes, say bye for now and see you tomorrow.